Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, Mike Spider Slayer. Guys, getting ready to do the 51st Comic Book Haul. That's right, guys. And before we get started, just got a little bit of an update. If you guys go on to my channel on the channel page, uh, you're going to see now it says Mike Spider Slayer on there. And if you go into all my videos, my videos are going to say Mike Spider Slayer. Um, I was able to change um, not necessarily my channel name. Comic Book Corner still exists, uh, but you're just going to see my name now, Mike Spider Slayer, on me uh, on next to my videos. Uh, just reason being, uh, a lot of people know that I'm Mike Spider Slayer. And when we always talk and have discussions and things like that, everyone's like, Mike, Mike Spider Slayer, blah, blah, blah. So people that are not familiar with me and they hear about me from other people who Mike Spider Slayer is, at least now they have a video to look at. Uh, but the channel name still exists as Comic Book Corner. So if you search for it on uh, YouTube videos or whatever, you'll see Comic Book Corner on there. So it kind of separates the two now. Um, kind of like what I wanted when I first originally started the channel. Um, so, there's your little update. This week we're going to get ready for the haul. Um, we got a lot of great stuff that came out this week. Another few number ones that came out from Marvel. Uh, Tie-ins to the Batman series. Green Lantern stuff. Multiple books from multiple characters, which is pretty cool. Um, so, with that being said, woohoo, let's go. It's time to get it on. Like Donkey Kong. That's right. So, as we take our books out from the bag, we'll start off with a DC book. And that first DC book is Death of the Family tie in, issue number 16 of Nightwing. Uh, the last issue is really good. Um, I was a little lost because I never read Nightwing before. Um, but there's a strong possibility after this whole thing is over that I might continue uh, to read Nightwing uh, just because it looks interesting, the art was good, and I want to really know a little about, you know, some more about Dick Grayson. So, uh, great stuff though. The last book was fun to read. Um, I did not get Red Hood and the Outlaws. Uh, that story continues off from the Teen Titans. Uh, tie in the last issue and I looked at it and I saw it and I just put it down I didn't seem too impressed by it. I don't need it to understand the whole story. So uh, I put that one down so next from DC we have Green Lantern and the New Guardians issue 16 This is like the best cover out of all the Green Lantern books this week. I love this cover it's got the third army creatures on there with the little brain showing, their eyes showing, and all that cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Um, this is the beginning of the last um, issues that has to deal with the third army. And then we're going to go into the wrath of the first lantern. So it's just going to continue off of that. Uh, next, we have Green Lantern Core issue number 16. And you have uh, Simon Baz in this particular issue here. Um, before he was just in the Green Lantern, so I guess he's making his first appearance in another Green Lantern book. So it's going to be interesting how he reacts with other Lanterns since he's been by himself from the start. So Green Lantern Court, issue 16. Next we have Green Lantern, issue 16. Here you got the cover where you got Simon. Um, being surrounded where it looks like there's all the third army creatures behind him and he's looking like all right it's time to kick some ass got my lantern in my hands I'm about to show you guys who's some boss right here so we'll see how this develops this series has been uh, pretty good with him in it so far uh, he had some interaction with the Justice League and things like that so awesome job uh, next we have from DC another one more book I think and that is Justice League issue number 16 uh, throne throne of Atlantis and uh, so this continues off in that whole Atlantis thing uh, interested to see where that goes um, it's been solid it's not nothing that's earth shattering to me but it's been a solid read and um, Justice League I like the book 
Um, you know, it's off and on, but I like it overall. Uh, so next we have, I got my indie here uh, from Image Comics. We have Chew, issue number 31. This actually starts the beginning of a new story arc. And um, in, uh, in the last issue, we saw um, Antonelle, Antonelle Chu uh, pass away, and uh, she's no more. And uh, this basically starts the uh, next second half of Chu. Um, all the way towards issue 60 and the new story arc is called bad apples uh, one of five So it's a good jumping on point for a lot of people if you have not read shoe so far So next we go into DC and in DC we have Avengers issue number Three right yeah issue three So this story arc was really um, has been solid so far the expanded Avengers coming into play and um, again you can see that little grail thing right here that's going on um, you got this little table and all that stuff so that's really cool you know Hickman likes his little graphs and everything <laughs> it's, it's really cool um, next we have uh, Wolverine and the X-Men issue number 24 totally interested to see what this is all about here uh, Wolverine and Storm kissing uh, that will be interesting this starts a new story arc as well uh, so we'll see where this leads off to man them hooking up I didn't expect that at all uh, next from Marvel we have Uncanny X-Force issue number one uh, I've been saw the preview for this a long time. I've actually had the poster up uh, for this book uh, on my on my wall right here for a while now. So waiting for this to be good. Uh, interior art on the inside, right from the first page, looks solid. And here is one more page I'll show you right here. So we got that. So interior art is looking pretty good. Um, so I'm interested to see what um, this has to offer for us. And next from Marvel, we have FF number three. In the last issue, we found out that Johnny Storm and the Fantastic Four didn't come back. And they were gone a long time. And then the portal opens up and you have this coming out. And I don't know if that's Johnny Storm or whoever that is, or it's old Johnny or whatever but he came through and he said fantastic four is dead <laughs> who knows i don't know but we'll find out and says if you guys don't listen to me oh he says the fantastic four is dead if you guys don't listen to me but whatever the case they're probably like ancient in their time you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't know it's pretty weird uh so next we have deadpool issue number four dude this seems like it took forever for this one to come out I don't know if maybe because of all the other books that were released or whatnot, um, and they just came out with multiple books, but this took forever, but it's finally here, and it's continuing this Dead President story thing, and we'll see what this uh, issue has to offer for Deadpool. And next with Deadpool, and I swear to God I said I wasn't going to do another miniseries with Deadpool because of the way the other one ended. And I was just so not happy with that. And uh, but I, <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. And I went out and I got this one right here. I got that uh, Deadpool Illustrated. Um, the covers are great on these books. And um, basically, from what I heard, that this kind of continues off off of the last series. Colin Bunn writes this series just like he wrote the last one. And um, in the description. Um, it, it said that you know Deadpool killed the Marvel Universe so and you read the description below and it gives you a little bit what happened and everything so in a way this kind of continues off uh, from that last um, little mini series in a way so I'm interested to see this and where it goes and uh, this one will be a review on here 
uh, for sure. It'll probably be one of the first reviews of this week, so stay tuned for that on, uh, on my channel right here on Comic Book Corner. So, last but not least, we have Young Avengers issue number one. I've been waiting for this book. Um, I don't, you know what, I don't know too much about these characters, but uh, when I read the point one issue of this, uh, I was totally excited about it. Uh, Kid Loki got his ass beat, um, you know, and uh, it just, the art looked, looked nice and clean, and, um, you know, it's got stuff like this. Like, look at these panels in here. So it's pretty cool stuff right there, and, and I'm interested to see what this is. The whole layout on this book looks really, really interesting. So um, this will be another one that I review pretty quickly. Probably this and Deadpool at least um, today as this video goes up. I'll be reading it and reviewing it. So stay tuned for those. And that's all I have, guys. Um, stay tuned for the other reviews on Dark Avenger Inc. as well. Um, there will be quite a few between all these books this week. So, um, guys... As always, thank you for watching. Check out Dark Avenger Inc. Obviously, check out my channel, Comic Book Corner. And uh, check out ComicRelated.com for all your news, reviews, and previews. Um, 365 days a year. And guys, we're doing all kinds of great things on Dark Avenger Inc. So stay tuned for that. And guys, thank you for watching. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Until the next comic book review, take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.